trained an average of 15 people per training. Usually, most of the investigators, they don't know the scope of the problem. When we take them to the site visit, that's when they also change their perspective on how much the population affected by the pollutants. They always say, oh, I didn't know that. I, I, I hadn't seen that. So we never use the XRF directly into the soil. We do a very initial site screening, which is very basic and easy way to screen a site. That's the first step. With the initial site screening, you get a chance of really knowing where the pollution is, where's the contamination, and if it's getting near people and if it has a possibility to contaminate people. It has to go up to 100. Because sometimes it can be like this, we don't want that. I'm the local coordinator in Mexico, but today I'm representing Sandra Guantero. Mais importante seria colocar em prática o que eu venho estudando, seria em comunidades, fazer coletas análises, ver como está a situação. O que mais me motiva e me inspira nesse projeto é o potencial de intervenção social e de remediação dessas áreas que estão contaminadas. The investigators have different uh, backgrounds. The best investigators are the ones who are passionate about what they do. It's the ones that they understand the importance of their work. The ones that see that if they do a really good work, they will change people's lives. I show them the results and their minds were blown. Like, wow, how could you do that? It gives the government the feeling that they are not alone because they look at the database and they say, okay, all of the countries have polluted sites. When you see that everyone has problem, that's something that helps. Arsenic, 1,000 parts per million, which is very high. Without the data, really, decisions can't be made. And there has to be prioritization. I guess it's a, me a measure of triage, in a sense, to figure out what should be taken care of first, most critical. There was data that showed some pretty high lead levels and we wanted to get a much more detailed idea of what the lead levels were so that we can figure out if there's a remediation program that's appropriate and cost effective. We tested a spot and that spot was 2.8% lead. That means it was 28,000 parts per million of lead as compared to a standard in the U.S. residential of 400 parts per million. So 400 parts per million versus 28,000. So it's very high lead content. É importante um local desse aqui não ficar abandonado, como se fosse um antigo esqueleto industrial. Inclusive, algumas pessoas frequentam o local. E isso é preocupante. We can just keep talking about the same areas that are contaminated over and over. We had to move forward. One very important thing is to have the facts to, to say, okay, we have this problem, and the most important thing <laughs> is to tell them we can solve this. Our goal really is to make everything win-win. The community and what their goals and desires are. And for us, it's just satisfying. Credit doesn't matter, it's knowing that it gets done in whatever way we can make that happen.